Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Nicole Vignola Show. Today, we're going to be talking about three ways to eliminate that self-doubt, how to reinstill self-trust, and finally move through life knowing you have your own back. If you're new here, I explain the brain to make life a little bit less scary, so please stay tuned in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You'll be helping the channel grow so we can take this to the stratosphere and beyond my rewire collective. So I'm just gonna lay it in straight. We're going straight to the point today. Step number one is to rewire that inner critic with evidence because we have this negativity bias that tells us all of the things that we don't know how to do. But when we start to look at that from a logical standpoint, we start to see that actually we do probably have evidence that we have done this before. Your brain is a prediction machine and it will filter through previous experiences to tell you whether you have been able to do something before. That can get overshadowed by this negativity bias that says you are not good enough, you can't do it, because that stems from fear. That is your brain trying to keep you safe. So when we go back on the archives and we go, actually, at this point in time, I was also scared of doing something, but I did it anyway. Ah, evidence. I actually do know how to jump through that fear. But here's the other side of the coin is that if you have failed before, your brain will attach itself to that too. And it will say, look, we failed at one time. What if we fail again? But did you truly fail or did you learn what not to do or what to do in future scenarios so that you can do it better next time? See, when we look at successful people, you know over and over and over again they go through failure. They've been through a lot of failure. We learn more from our failures and our successes. And anyone who is truly successful didn't get there without failing. So the tool you're going to do here is I call it a dopamine file, a list of all of the things that you have done well. And I want you to read it out loud when that inner critic starts talking to you because that will override it. It will reinstill that self-trust and it will tell your brain, hey, we absolutely can. Step number two, interrupt the spiral. Self-doubt is like a little bit of a loop. And if you don't feed it, and if you don't break it, it starts to grow and it starts to perpetuate into everything in your life. That self-doubt starts to bleed into everything you do. If you don't interrupt it, it will grow. So the tool that you can use in this scenario is, is this really helpful? Or am I just thinking this because it's familiar? Because that loop of self-doubt can become a habit in itself. So ask yourself, is this really helpful or is this loop just familiar? It is easier to berate ourselves and doubt ourselves than it is to actually back ourselves up until we've put in enough reps to show and to see that we can trust ourselves. That little sentence, that question can interrupt that spiral and shift you and propel you in a different direction that says, hey, we're going to do things differently this time. And tip number three, how would you speak to your child if they were in this scenario? Would you be like, yeah, 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 you suck. Yeah, don't do it. You don't even know how to do it. Are you just going to fail if you try? I wouldn't. I don't have a child, but I wouldn't speak to my niece like that. And if I had a child, I most certainly wouldn't speak to them like that. If you're struggling to resonate with a child scenario, how would you have spoken to yourself as a child? How would you speak to a friend? When you start to get that self-doubt, write down what you would write or say to your friend, to your child, to the younger version of you. How would you speak to them? And then say it back to yourself. This will activate the medial prefrontal cortex responsible for compassion and empathy because it is hard to sometimes apply that empathy to ourselves. But by doing it like this, we can actually show ourselves that we can speak to ourselves like that too. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend. You'll be helping me grow the channel. And yeah, just thank you for being here.